Hi, Adam here, and today we're going to try to replace a camshaft position sensor in an M44 engine for a BMW Z3 1.9 liter engine. Some of you may be wondering, you know, how you know if you need to replace the camshaft sensor in your car. A uh, problem I had was, especially during cold weather, after my car had been off for at least seven hours, Upon starting the car, the RPMs would be bouncing around. You could hear unusual noises coming from around the engine. Uh, the fuel line would cut out. If you used to stay in place and try to accelerate. You'd take it up to 4,000, it'd cut out, drop down, go up, cut out. It couldn't have a steady flow of fuel. If you tried driving while the RPMs are bouncing around like this and the fuel's cutting out, You'll experience jerky motions, you know, it'll hold down the gas pedal, go, cut out, pick up. Yeah, we uh, figured out that it was a chem sensor because we bought a scanning tool, and you can get this done for free at your local auto zone, any place like that, but we do a lot of our home repairs here, and just plugged it in and gave us a reading, told us the camshaft position sensor was messed up, and got a new one and replaced it. Start by disconnecting the negative lead on the battery. Just stay safe. Comes with this S13 metric. You'll just unloosen that right there. You can just kind of lift that off. And start out. Disconnect the air mass sensor. You have to take your flathead, take the clamp off of here so you can pull off the air duct. You'll need to disconnect the shrouding hose here. And then there will be two little clips here in order to remove it from the housing. So push that back and you can pry this out of here. Mm, it's good. <laughs> this is the camshaft position sensor. As you see, it goes down into the intake manifold. So today we're going to have to take off the upper part of the intake manifold. As you can see, the black box in there. On the on the far side is where the uh, other side of the camshaft position sensor plugs in. There's a bracket back here. You need to loosen the bolt on top, size 11 millimeters. You need to unscrew both of these. And there's also a bracket down here attached to the engine. Take off the one attached to the intake manifold. Take off this bolt in the center, also 11 millimeter, which connects the upper intake manifold to the lower intake manifold. At this point, you should be able to float the upper intake manifold a bit, and you can see that there may be a few spare hoses holding it down, and we'll show you what you need to remove next. Disconnect the vacuum hose here. Now you should be able to lift this intake upper part and you can access the uh, camshaft sensor which is right here can't see that can you okay. alright this is the other side of the camshaft position sensor you need to push in the metal clip there and just push it off. Pull it out from this side. It looks like there are a few attachment places here where the harness is, but first we're going to start off by removing the mounting bolt. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the mounting bolt. And after removing the bolt, you can pull it out the engine. And you'll see uh, it has an O-ring here. It's always good to replace O-rings. If your sensor didn't come with a replacement O-ring, inspect it close to the light, clean it, make sure there's no cracks, no cuts, make sure it's not brittle. 
because you don't want to put a bad o-ring back in. You'll just end up having to buy another sensor and replace that again. You'll see there's two little black plastic prongs sticking out. Just take a pair of needle nose and you'll pinch those together and push through and that clip will come right out. It will come right out. <laughs> and here's the harness. Take the sensor and just kind of fish it through. It's like a little maze. And pull your sensor out right under the bracket here. And you have your harness. And make sure you have that new o ring on the new sensor start feeding it through here start right under the bracket where you remove the last one continue to fish this through here and you have your sensor new sensor in the harness installation is reversive removal Push the clip in as you push the sensor back in. For the two here, you need to make sure you have these on tightly because you don't want an air leak here where the gasket is, it'll screw up your engine. So uh, the recommended pressure for this is 11 foot-pounds, but if you don't have a torque wrench to measure that, just make sure you have those about as tight as you can get. And I'm going to torque these to about 11 foot-pounds. All right. Great. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.